All right, so I got a uh, 2005 Wrangler ECU here, and it's said that the um, the heaters for the oxygen dispensers aren't aren't coming on. So uh, we're just gonna do a quick test for that. All right, so I got everything hooked up here, um, power, data, and the uh, heater controls, and then the O2 signals. And uh, I went ahead and replaced the driver for the uh, the heaters, and they they all come from all four work off the same driver here. Uh, and the way that this driver works is it has a 12 volt that comes in through the ASD relay. So when you ASD relay switches on, it comes through. Uh, I believe it's pin 19 on connector 3, and that actually is the power that will get switched. This is kind of like a relay. Uh, so when the PCM's logic tells this to switch, it will switch that 12 volts from the ASD relay through here and send it to this heater coil, and it's got four switches in there. Um, so we're just going to kind of actuate them, make sure they're all working now, and we're going to monitor it. Uh, with the oscilloscope here, I'm going to set a trigger for it. I'm going to set it at 13, because right now I have 14.5 uh, volts going in there. Or, you know, between 14 and 14.5. And so I'm, I'm going to set this at 13. And when I uh, actuate it, sorry, I think my wire is loose there. When I actuate it, we should see that trigger hold and I'm also I'm going to check the control signal from the logic uh, which is a I think it's a 5 volt logic coming in here and then I also I'll check the you know to compare it with the voltage coming through the uh, ASD relay so the pink line that you'll see is going to be both input I'll use to check the input for the 12 volts being switched and also for the control signal so let me go ahead and actuate. I have to do all four separately. So we're going to do one of one first. Okay, and there we go. We see the green is our output from the driver. So that would be our heater coil. Um, the pink is our control logic. So we see that they they match and now I'm going to check the supply voltage and we see our green and pink meet there so that sensor is working let's move on to sensor number two in bank one Alright, there we have uh, our control logic, everything looks good there, and we have our supply and our output, that's good, so now I'm going to go to number, th I'm sorry, number um, sensor 1 for bank 2, wait a minute. So that was uh, that was actually bank one sensor one and bank two sensor one. I'm sorry. So this next one is actually uh, bank one sensor two. All right. So let me move the probe. All right. So there that is. Let's check the control. Uh, the control matches. The output is right. Let me check the control supply. That's good. So let's check the last one. which is bank 2, sensor 2. And there we go. We have our output. Looks good. Have our control logic is good. And we also have our switching supply uh, matching. So, yeah, all four heaters are uh, functioning properly. I can, um, 
real quick while I have it hooked up, I can show the sensor signal is reading correctly as well. Uh, this Arduino here, I have it coded to um, supply all four signals for each O2 sensor, and it's just it's kind of set up just to kind of fluctuate, kind of go through different uh, numbers just so I can watch and monitor, and make sure everything is actually changing. So here we go. We see one, two, one, one, two. Which one am I missing? Okay, that's all of them. Why do I have to? Okay, let's get that one out. Okay, so there we go. And they can adjust them as well. So we see it's a little bit higher now. Not quite adjusting as much. And then you can see I can unhook them and it stops. So uh, both the signal is being properly read and it is also uh, the heaters are properly working as well now. So if you continue to have issues, it will definitely be external.